In this video we will look at transparent electrode ozone generator. We have three electrodes prepared for a quick test. That's cool. Generator is made of two glass tubes. Both sides are sealed with epoxy. Top side is designed to be resealable by melting wax layer. Screw is used as terminal for grounding. I tried to utilize my glass blowing skills, but I failed miserably. Never mind, epoxy works great. I was too hasty and tried to speed up curing epoxy by heat and melted wax layer. This electrode is made of piece of some thick cable insulation and tin wire. The tin wire is wrapped around insulation axially through center. Plastic tube and thinner wire would certainly perform better. This is cadmium sheet salvaged from nickel cadmium battery. Perforated sheets are promising very high efficiency. Cadmium however is poisonous metal. Very small amount of its salt may kill you. Also it is very soft. Almost exactly as zinc. So it can be formed very easily. I found this on Google. It looks we are not only one who's got this idea. The last electrode is very fine copper wire. My hair is for comparison. Each about one pixel wide. Thinner wire gives better results. But stronger power source is needed. Let's start with cadmium sheet. Oh god it's wonderful. I know this is more beauty contest than science video. Anyway, enjoy this inverted stop motion. Geez I should make some jig for those sick shots. It looks like some alien technology. These arcs are also pretty weird. As usual at the end of the video there will be some still photos. Now move to next one. Shall we? This is tin wire electrode. As you can see because it is bent there are some blind spots. But also some pretty nice arcs that looks like there are some sharp inconsistencies on that wire. Interesting. Also where the wire is not touching the glass, Jacob's ladder like arcs are formed, that looks like they are counting in binary. I double checked. They are not. Or they are, but faster than camera's shutter speed. Ok time for stills. I apologize for shooting in raw format so there will be some distortions such as missing lens correction and chromatic aberration. Anyway. Not as impressive as in video, isn't it? This one looks much better. Actually it is very close to how it really looks. I would eat it if I could. But those air bubbles really piss me off. When the chamber was filled, there was no single bubble. After few minutes they simply appear. There are liquids that don't form bubbles such as glycerin or other glycols, but their polarity is too small for my power source. Unfortunately I don't have detail of this one. And finally the copper wire. It was so dim, that I needed 100 second exposure time in contrast to 25 seconds for other two electrodes. So that's why there is no video of it. You would see nothing, thank you for watching. I hope, you like this beauty contest. Feel free to vote for your favorite in the comments. Also if you have an idea for some ozonosis reaction let me know. Warning next part contains meaningless brain dump. As I live in the EU I have very limited access to chemicals. I am planning to make a non-profit business so that way I may gain access to essential chemicals such as DCM and non-regulated reagents. Such irony that I can go to hardware store and buy reagents to make sodium cyanide, but it is impossible for me to get some benzaldehyde. But back to subject. I was thinking about making piperinal from piperine biosynthesis as I can get some incredibly cheap white pepper. Any recommendations for solvent or procedure is appreciated. I have some plans for next videos. I have limited budget so some will come out and some will not. More of them will be related to general engineering than chemistry only. Such as HHO generator but HHO generator that will be utilized as welder and for glass blowing. Then of course few glass blowing videos or even series for designing reactors and stuff. Or homemade hot plate made of kettle. Those are chemistry related, such as this ozone generator, but it's not really chemistry video. For chemistry I want to make series of videos designing a polymer resin that can be cured by UV light. Because I think, that 3D printing is very good technology and stereolithography is a way to go. You see, 
that I am DIY enthusiast and DIY polymer is kinda holy grail of do-it-yourself. Of course if somebody have an idea for something useful, I may do a video about it as long as it complies to my goals. And speaking of goals, my goal here on YouTube and in the life generally is to design, develop and explore. So I will try to post unique videos on subjects, that are not well documented, understood or explored. Some of the videos will be clickbaits obviously. Such as my sodium video for example, also I live with my sister and most of the time I work at night and I don't want to narrate my videos when she is sleeping. Normally I use my car as a studio, but it's winter so right now I will use Daisy's voice, so once again. Thanks for watching.